Hi, I'm Michael Mueller. And I'm Harper Forestieri. And we're doing a food review on wild pepper pizza. Our last review was really controversial, so we're doing it again. Last time our reporters visited Wild Pepper Pizza, the review they left soured many people. The reporters felt the quality of pizza and the unsatisfactory subs diminished its overall appeal. The store was also super crowded, but under a new ownership, we hope that this time will be different. I'm here owner of the place, and we've been uh, here since last year. And uh, since I start this business, is really good, smooth, and we have the lunch special for the kids slice for the lunch time. As we waited for our pizza, we noticed the restaurant was spotless but completely empty. D despite the emptiness, the wait was longer than we anticipated. The quietness surprised us since last time we came here, the place was completely crowded. We were a bit concerned about the lack of customers, but everything else seemed to have improved. Okay, we got a burning pizza. So, it looks pretty good, actually. It's like cooked perfectly. It's not too oily. The crust is actually like really nice. Um, it's not overcooked, not undercooked. I like how they didn't put too much pepperoni on this pizza. The quality of the pizza has definitely improved, and our overall experience was pretty good. So we definitely recommend Wild Pepper Pizza to students looking for an affordable lunch. To wrap things up, here's a message from the owner. Just, just try us one time and you're gonna love it. You just need a one chance to try our slice or the pizza. As soon as you try, you won't go anywhere and you're gonna love it.